What's up guys, I'm in South Africa and I have just got in contact with some amazing entrepreneurs, some amazing investors and I met this one guy, his name is Coach CK and, What's up? Um, and I just want you I just want him to share a little bit of his story. I just heard his story. It was super inspiring. This dude is traveling everywhere around the world, speaking to tens of thousands of people. And you know, his story and how he actually grew up and what he's actually built as a businessman is simply phenomenal, right? So uh, CK, you know, for my guys who don't know you, uh, give them a quick uh, you know summary of you know who you are and you know how you've got to where you are today. Well, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me. So here's the thing. I grew up in actually uh, Kenya, uh, in Africa, and uh, we grew in a family of five, less than a dollar a day for a family of five. We were absolutely broke. Anyway, years later, I find myself in the United States, homeless, you name it, I've been through it. But somebody just taught me one principle. I went out there, I learned it, I mastered it. And over the years, I just went around the world just teaching people how they can be able to get out of obscurity because that's really where I was at. I was just living in a life of obscurity. Now, the journey's not been easy. I mean, I've started several businesses. I've lost millions and millions of dollars, but then I've also made millions and millions of dollars uh, just in uh, growing businesses. And now I travel around the world uh, teaching entrepreneurs and not only teaching them, but showing them how do they come from where they are to where they want to be. What was your first um, entrepreneurial success, man? What was it? Well, it was actually, uh, I started a web design company and that was a one-man show. And I mean, I had all the excuses that you can imagine. So what I did was that I just sat down in my bedroom, never forgot, had an air mattress, and I decided to start calling people. And I'm like, hey, I could build your website. Nobody responded. Then I went and put out some signs out there that I said, I make websites, that's mm -hmm. it. Okay. And my phone number. Yeah. And my phone started ringing. Okay. And it was amazing. And my fast, fast success story was this guy. He's like, "Where are your offices located?" I'm like, uh, "Now let me tell you something about our business. We okay. come to you. Yeah. You don't have come to us because there's no office." Yeah. So I showed up. <laughs> he writes me a two thousand six hundred dollar check. Yeah. Seated in McDonald's. Yeah. And I was like, "What? Like seriously?" Yeah. And that's how I started my business. Wow, shit, yeah. man. Shit. <laughs> Dude, I, I I love that story, man. Tell us a little bit more about your. You know, you talk about taxes, right? Yes. Yeah. So tell us about that as well. Well, so my tax business, what I did was that actually somebody suggested to me and said, hey, you need to take a class in taxes, okay? And I did the traditional way, went to take a semester of taxes in college, and I got an F, which I okay. thought meant finish. And then my teacher comes to me and he's like, it's not for you. Then I thought to myself and I said, hang on a second, I don't need to know how to file taxes. I just need to know somebody who knows how to. Yeah. And I give them a platform, give them a software, and I go look for customers. That's what I did. Yeah. I, would, I taught, a, a, you know, I hired a lady who could do it. Then I went out there and started looking for customers. They came, filed their taxes. Then my business grew to 50 customers. Then I was like, what do I need to do to get this to 500? How can I 10 exit? And I was able to get it to that. Then I opened a second location, third location, fourth location, 30 locations. At the 12th location, I decided to franchise. Yeah. And when I started franchising, there were so many lessons on uh, system, structure, you know, strategy, and that's what I was focusing on. Then the business just blew out of 100 locations, eight different states in the United States, got featured in Entrepreneur Magazine as one of the fastest growing tax and accounting franchise, been featured in, I mean, numerous publications on CNBC, Fox News, and talking about, uh, you know, taxes. So that business, are you still in? in the business or if you sold the business like actually I sold part of the shares on my business but I'm still an active uh, an active owner okay yes okay. Cool. The business, and yeah. that we're together with so many other things as well right yes you know? absolutely I have uh, 12 businesses uh, in eight countries right now wow. yes. Dude, like you know what 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 is you know beyond my mindset currently right now at this point yeah. of time is you know, how do you actually run 12 businesses man you have to get the right people. You have okay. to get the right people. I learned three C's, I mean four C's of hiring people. Competence, hire them based on competence. Mm. Culture and character, the most important things, yeah. and communication skills. So I'm always looking for people. I have CEOs who mm. run my other businesses, yep. and I'm like their group CEO. So my job is just to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. So I wow. literally deal with eight people. That's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how now, now that sounds manageable. Yeah, it is manageable. Now that sounds manageable. I yeah. run 12 businesses, but I deal with eight people. Yeah. Wow, that's a whole new mindset altogether. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, 
around. Yeah, you think about it, if you can only deal with eight people and they've got their crap together, that's yeah. it. That's all you need. Oh yeah. shit, man. Dude, <laughs> I, 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 love, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Dude, can you, can you tell us, right? So, a lot of people, uh, yesterday, uh, this, this one young guy came to me and he's like, I want to be an entrepreneur, I want to start a business, but man, I don't have the capital, man. All my ideas, I need so much money. Mm. So, what would you, what would you advise you to people who are like, Telling themselves that they don't, they can't be a businessman because they yeah, don't have money. Done. Well, number one, you need to be resourceful. I get that, by the way. All over the world, people come to me. Oh, you know, I've tried everything, and most of the time, when somebody tells you they've tried everything, they've only tried two or three things. I got rejected. I'll never forget. I was looking for twenty-five thousand dollars. I was rejected by thirty-seven banks. Wow. They told me no. But I learned very quickly how to be resourceful. So it's not the it's not the lack of capital that's a problem. Mm. It's lack of resourcefulness. Mm. I run a company in Dubai right now called Incubate. We take entrepreneurs and we put their ideas through this you know process. If we like it, we get them funds. Most of the times, it's not lack of capital that's a problem. It's being resourceful. Perfect example. Guy comes up to me the other day. He's like, "There's nothing I can do. My life is over." Blah 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 blah. I asked him. Dude, don't tell me about money, lack of money here. You just are not being resourceful. He said, tell me one thing I can do. I say, uh, can you get a bucket? He's like, yeah. Can you get some water? Yes. Go start doing some mobile car cleaning. You get somebody on the car lot telling man, I can clean up your car. Yeah. And I'm just going to give you a good deal. I'll wipe it down real nice and stuff like that. He said, that would never work in a million years. I said, trust me and do it. I meet him three months down the line at another event in the same city. He goes like, I have four employees now. Wow. He's like, we just go on parking lots. We'll clean up your car. See what I'm saying? That's not lack of money. It's lack of being resourceful. Shit, bro. Dude. <laughs> Man. It's, it's no, anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. Yeah. So there's no excuse. Yeah. See, I, and I just say, and there's hey, no excuse. I, I don't yourself. care what, you yeah. know, how old you are, you know, how, how young you are. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Would you, check this out. Would you tell a guy dressed really nicely at a parking lot that, hey, I use just water to clean up your car, wipe it down for just a fraction of the cost? Would you tell a guy no? Probably not. Bro, that's amazing stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, bro, tell me. Um, you come down to, I, I saw your ads in Singapore, actually. Okay. Right? That's awesome. how I got to know him, right? <laughs> I was at this event. I was okay. like, dude, I recognize you from somewhere. Yeah. And I realized that I actually registered for this event, but I didn't show up. Uh, so, <laughs> tell so me, it's man. One of, it's one of those that didn't, <laughs> didn't show up. Why? Yeah. So, um, so, tell me, tell me, tell me. Hold on. The question is this. So, um... What do people learn in events? And uh, yeah, tell us more about that. Man. All right, so in our events, we focus on three things really money, business, and wealth. And we show you how to get it if you don't have it, and how to keep it once you get it, and how to grow it once you have it. Okay, so that's Fantastic. pretty much the concept. Yeah, All right. Yeah. And you also talk about wealth, fitness as well. Well, Tell fitness. That, so we believe in a holistic approach. This dude has got like 12 packs, so <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. But anyway, our, our concept is simply this, right? So we believe in a holistic approach to wealth. So you have to have a balance. You can't just be super successful and then your life sucks. Maybe you're dealing with life issues, uh, health issues. So we teach people how to be balanced because I believe success needs to be balanced, right? You need to be balanced in your life. You need to be balanced in, in all aspects of so, Fantastic. Yeah. So you teach people how to, you know, build, scale, grow the businesses, use that money, and how to actually grow that money yeah. as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, dude, amazing yeah. stuff. You know, I, I uh, he's gonna do an event very, very soon in Singapore and yes. Malaysia. Yes, Malaysia. Right. We're there June uh, 12th, as a matter right. of fact. Yeah. By the way, I just saw him speak on the stage, and this dude is dynamic. Man. He's <laughs> power packed. He's like a dynamite. You know, if you want to get some energy, if you want to learn real strategies, uh, it's a man you want to go to to actually learn from, right? Gain some wisdom from this man because, you know, he can possibly change your life, right? I'm pretty sure. Yes, awesome. Yeah, so we're going to be there. I mean, you know, the easiest way is just following us uh, on uh, social media, Wealth Fitness International or wealthfitnessonline.com and uh, you, on our event section, you see all the events. But yes, we're going to be in Malaysia and I am coming back to Singapore. Fantastic. Yeah. I can't wait to bring you around Singapore, man. <laughs> Personally, um, let's see you there. All, All right. right. Awesome. So, guys, register for there. I'm going to put a link down below. Register for the event. Code CK. You cannot miss him. I hope you found some value from this video. One last question for CK before we leave. Yes. The question is this, right? Uh, what would you say to the one guy, to the... To the to the guy who's like, no, I really want to start on business, I want to start on investing, but I'm too afraid to begin. What's the one piece of advice you give him? Yeah, fear of failure has always been there. And yeah. at the end of the day, your dreams have to be bigger than yourself. 
what I say to people who are afraid to start, I'm telling them this. You're denying the world your gift. The world needs your gift. And the more you keep procrastinating, somebody's life will not start until you show up in the scene. And so, listen, you need to go out there, stop talking about it, and get it done. And by the way, fear of failure is always eliminated when you have a blueprint. When you have a blueprint that, you know what, this is exactly what I need to do, then fear of failure is just out of the door. And again, remember, it's not about you, man. It's about other people. It's about legacies, about impacting people's life. That's what it's all about. So when you keep it to yourself, you're denying us your gift. You need to go out there and do it. Oh, dude, I feel so pumped listening to you, man. <laughs> Listen to you in real life. You, you see what I mean. You see what I mean. See you really, really soon at the event. All right. Awesome. Cheers.